This is Bruce Jansen from the Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm at the annual scientific sessions of the American Heart Association, where I'm talking with Dr. Diane McKay of Tufts University in Boston, who has just conducted a trial of hibiscus tea as a blood pressure lowering agent. What did you find? Well, we found that uh, our subjects who consumed three cups of hibiscus tea every day for six weeks actually had a um, lower blood pressure after that period of time. How much lower? Uh, the reduction that we saw was about seven millimeters in systolic blood pressure, three millimeters diastolic, and about four millimeters of um, arterial, mean arterial pressure. Um, and that was significantly, the systolic blood pressure lowering was significantly different uh, than what we saw with the placebo beverage. So is that in the ballpark range of what you could expect to find with uh, single agent antihypertensive therapy? Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, it is. But what are the public health implications of that? Well, we know that even small changes in blood pressure, when seen in, in studies such as ours, uh, can actually have a large impact in uh, larger population studies as, insofar as reducing uh, risk of several mortalities, including stroke mortality, cardiovascular mortality, and all-cause mortality as well. Uh, what are your thoughts about the mechanism of benefit? Well, we still need to, to determine uh, the exact mechanism. We do have some evidence from other studies that the antioxidant phytochemicals that are present in hibiscus tea um, do have ACE inhibitor activity, and they also work as a uh, natriuretic. Any adverse effects from drinking three cups a day of that delicious beverage? Our subjects found, uh, we found no adverse effects with our subjects, and in fact, um, hibiscus tea is actually consumed uh, worldwide. Um, it goes by a number of different names, and in Nigeria, the per capita consumption is the equivalent of 25 cups of hibiscus tea uh, daily, and there have been no reports of toxicity.